Hello and welcome to a demo of Google's Android Donut release on Mistral's new OMAP3 EVM Revision G board. The OMAP3 EVM is based on TI's media application processor OMAP3530, a dual core processor with ARM's Cortex A8 core and TI's C64X Plus DSP core. Mistral has brought up the Android framework on the OMAP3 EVM. In this demo, we will be showcasing some of the interesting features of Android and their performance on the OMAP3 EVM. Some of the key features of the new OMAP3 EVM include OMAP3530 ES 3.1 processor functioning at 720 MHz, TI TPS 65950 power module for power management, LCD panel with a touch screen, SD card interface for storage, 256 MB of DDR memory, 256 MB of NAND flash, multi-camera connector, one zip, two header, video I.O. interface, CVBS component and S-video, USB connectors, EHCI and OTG. First, we will boot Android on the OMAP3 EVM. The boot up takes about 50 seconds to a minute. Mistral has used the OMAP 3530's capability to boot out of an SDMMC memory card by placing the entire Linux firmware and the Android application framework on the SDMMC card. This effectively means that even if nothing is flashed on the OMAP 3 EVM, one can just plug in an SDMMC card from Mistral and have Android running on it. Once the Linux OS is loaded, the Android framework is automatically launched. You are now viewing the initial Android screen. By default, the device is in a locked mode. To unlock the main screen, we need to press the menu key. Mistral has modified the default Android kernel to map some of the buttons of the keypad on the EVM to function as required by Android. So, we press the S4 key on the keypad of the OMAP3 EVM to unlock the screen. Once unlocked, we can see the default wallpaper and desktop of Android. Android is built for devices where the touch screen plays an important role in enhancing the user experience. The gesture feature allows commonly used finger moves like finger swipe, flick, etc to be recognized and accepted by the touchscreen display. As seen here, the finger swipe can be used to see the multiple desktops of Android. The app's launcher can be brought up by dragging it from the bottom of the screen. There are some inbuilt demos in Android which we will see now. This is the graphics demo. We can see the finger flick gesture here. The menu scrolls in the direction of the flick. It scrolls faster when you flick faster. Android supports OpenGL 1.0 for embedded systems. Some of these demos show this capability. This is the GL surface view. The same data is represented in different graphical forms in the cube view and the translucent GL surface view. The translucent view gives an overlay of the surface view with the menu visible in the background to give a translucent effect. We can see in these demos that the rendering of the 3D graphics is very smooth and without any breaks in video. This is because of the powerful ARM Cortex core on the OMAP 3530. This performance will be enhanced once the OpenGL 3D graphics hardware accelerator core of the OMAP 3530 is enabled. That was the OpenGL demo on the EVM. 
Let's now move back to the application menu for the next application demo, the browser. To choose the browser, click on the browser icon on the screen. The EVM has a 10 bar 100 Ethernet controller. When the browser is launched, it takes you to the default Google homepage. Let's go to bookmarks and select Wikipedia. You can scroll down, up, left, right, zoom in, zoom out and select a link which will take you to the next page. That's a demo of the web browsing capability on the Android enabled EVM. Let's now look at the multimedia capabilities of the platform. We have downloaded the Meridian Media Player from the Android Store and installed it on this platform using ADB over USB. This movie is playing out of the SD card. The movie has been encoded in the MPEG-4 format and Android's native codecs executing on the ARM code are being used to decode this video. I'm insist on using only the best man for this assignment. Don't think of this as just another job. Think of it as a mission. One condition. I drive my own car. We changed the oil, gave it a tune-up, took out all the non-essentials. I bet you my my company. You want to tell me what this is all about? When you pass 75 feet from the car, complete the mission, save your life. One more step, Frank. Come on, one more. Transporter 3. That's a quick preview of Android on the OMAP 3 EVM. To shut down the system, we need a clean exit mode. Power off the system by holding down the S3 key. That's the end of the Android demo on the new OMAP3 EVM. Mistral has the expertise to build products around TI's OMAP processor family and Google's Android framework. For more information, please contact us at usa at mistralsolutions.com. Thank you.